A common question from our RenderWorks users is how to create a white card rendering using Vectorworks. In 2011, this is very simple. We can simply go to Tools and Organization, and under the Classes tab, we'll select every class in this list by clicking the first class, holding Shift down, and clicking the last one, then pressing Edit. We will now simply just set the fill style and color to a solid white. No need to pick a particular offset white color to avoid the gray fill, and set our pen to solid. Press OK, and then OK again. Now, you simply have to add an HDRI background to the document. Then, when rendering white 3D objects, they'll appear as solid white objects. In addition to this change, you'll notice a lot more about the new Cinema 4D rendering engine. In 2010, Final Quality RenderWorks took about 9 minutes to complete. In VectorWorks 2011, it takes just a little over 3 minutes. This is due primarily to VectorWorks 2011's rendering engine being able to take advantage of more memory, more CPU cores, and 64-bit system resources. As you can see on both Mac and Windows, multiple processor cores now share the load of rendering in parallel instead of simply passing it back and forth between them in series. Another way this effect can be accomplished is to go to View, Rendering, and Custom RenderWorks Options. When rendering in custom render works, you have the options of disabling textures and colors from 3D objects. Click OK. This can only be done in custom render works. The other rendering options, such as final quality, do not have these settings. 